Today we're talking about Christian martyrs of the early church and the first recorded martyr in the Bible in Acts of the Apostles, St. Stephen, who was also a deacon. Imagine dying for your faith. That's what the Christian martyrs did. Today we're going to go to Acts of the Apostles and read about what happened to St. Stephen. I'm starting in chapter 6 of Acts, Accusation Against Stephen. Now Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called synagogue of freedmen came forward and debated with Stephen, but they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they instigated some men to say, we have heard him speaking blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people, the elders and the scribes, accosted him, seized him, and brought him before the Sanhedrin. They presented false witnesses who testified, this man never stopped saying things against this holy place and the law, for we have heard him claim that this Jesus the Nazarene will destroy this place and change the customs that Moses handed down to us. All those who sat in the Sanhedrin looked intently at him and saw that Stephen's face was like the face of an angel. In chapter 7, it begins with Stephen defending his faith, which is a lengthy speech that goes on to infuriate the people around him. When they heard this, they were infuriated and they ground their teeth at him, but he, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently at heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. Now you might remember Saul from the Bible eventually has an amazing conversion. As they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. Falling asleep actually means he was killed. The first line in the next chapter states that Saul was consenting to his execution. This is interesting because Saul was persecuting Christians during this time and he actually ended up having a conversion experience himself and becoming Saint Paul, the writer of many of these letters in the New Testament. It just goes to show you what can happen when a person has a conversion experience and is filled with the Holy Spirit, the gifts that come forth within that person, giving him or her the ability to do the impossible, things that they would have never been able to do on their own human strength.